surrender or pay the consequences. Riders, looks like we're coming to a commercial. Let's fight the zone. Members of the United Nations Security Council, it has been five months to the day since we were attacked. We all did everything we could, but it happened too fast. We were attacked with a devastating, unknown new weapon. In spite of our mutual efforts, half the world didn't stand a chance. In the hands of a traitorous scientist, the stolen ion shuttle prototype knocked out all our defense systems, even though we threw everything we had at it. Red Bear to White Fox, come in, over. Red Bear, this is White Fox. Target inside. He's diving. We'll pursue. Over. Blue Dog to Red Bear, I'm going in after him. Over. Stop, Blue Dog. We will follow. White Fox to Blue Dog! Pull out! Pull out! Ben, one lucky shot got through. And that shot saved half the world, gentlemen. But only half. We bought some time, a chance to keep fighting. For the first time in history, all nations set aside their differences to fight a common enemy. Now life goes on, in a sense. Would you like to explain, Commander Courage? The spiral zone, as we call it, robs the will, makes the victim easy to control, mindless. Troops can't go in, Victims can't get out. Our one hope is Commander Dirk Courage and his elite Zone Riders. Outfitted with our only supply of neutron-powered suits that let them enter the spiral zone. See for yourselves. They're codenamed Zone Riders. Their leader, Commander Dirk Courage. Fearless, U.S. Special Forces, Congressional Medal of Honor, Bronze Star, Purple Heart. The Zone Riders are supposed to be our most powerful weapon in the fight against Overlord. But now, months after the team was formed, the Spiral Zone is as strong as ever. You can't expect to win a war overnight. Please don't interrupt again, General. It's all right, sir. Now, this special committee has been convened to try to explain why the Zone Riders seem unable to defeat Overlord. I have here reports on several highly questionable command decisions suggesting that the Zone Rider's failure is the result of poor leadership. Do you think you can explain your conduct to this committee, Commander? I'm uh, <clears throat> certainly prepared to try, Mr. Chairman. Could you tell this committee why the Zone Riders destroyed the only direct links with New York City? 
Yes, Mr. Chairman, I can. We were trying to stop Overlord from moving an engine to a waiting space shuttle in New Jersey. It's coming your way. Are you ready? Not quite. Hey, look. Target practice. Come on, tank. Move it. Some ride. Tank. Tank. You were still on it. <laughs> I needed a bath anyway. <laughs> oh. oh, man. <laughs> Eventually, we had to stop Overlord another way. But blowing the bridge and the tunnel were reasonable steps to take at the time. You can't make an omelet without breaking eggs, sir. Let me ask you about a bigger omelet, Commander. The Panama Canal. Our most vital shipping link was recently closed to repair damage caused by the Zone Riders. It was necessary to destroy several locks in order to save the canal. Get that lock open! Eight minutes and counting, Commander. Keep us steady. One down. Two more locks to go. Tank may need our help. So, somehow I don't think so.
looks like we've had it. Unless... He is trying to blow the power plant! Help him! Watching this is worth all the battles lost to Courage and his Zone Riders. <laughs> Come on, blow! Blow! They still can't get off the ship in time! Time to abandon ship, Max! You don't have to tell me twice! If the ship had exploded in the canal, the damage might have been permanent. We understand, Commander, that one must take risks. But some risks are unacceptable. I believe you once ordered the surrender of the Zone Riders, our only defense against the Spiral Zone, in order to save a handful of people. Mr. Chairman, it was hardly a handful of people. I can explain that decision, Mr. Chairman. San Juan, Puerto Rico was about to be destroyed by the floodwaters of a giant hurricane. Now, the only way to save the people of the city was to move them to higher ground, inside the zone. Up, Max. We've got trouble. What is happening? Overlord. No one enters the zone. No one will be saved unless the Zone Riders surrender. Stay tuned. The Zone Riders will be back. And now we return with more Spiral Zone action. Overlord! We're waiting, Courage. We're ready to surrender on your terms. Are you sure this thing is gonna work? Oh, nothing in life is certain, Max. Put up your weapons. Hit it. Brilliant, Overlord. They really are going to surrender. Of course, my dear. It was inevitable. All right. Remove your backpacks. Now, move away from them. Remove your helmets and submit to the zone. You first, courage! And if we refuse? It's a little late for that. My Black Widows will be happy to help you. Then I guess we have no choice. Work. 
If I had it to do over, I'd take the same risk to save thousands of lives. I have here complaints from several South American governments. They insist that their countries have suffered and that the fight against Overlord has been hampered by the loss of electrical power from the Itaipu Dam. Can you explain, Commander, how the dam came to be destroyed? Yes, I can, Mr. Chairman. We blew it up. are locked on target. All I have to do is fire. You blokes better cover your ears. to take the fortress was to destroy its source of power. I decided it was better to sacrifice the dam than to let such a tremendous power source fall permanently into Overlord's hands. Oh, I have one more question, Commander Courage. Is it true that on your own authority, without any regular trial and sentencing, you once sent an innocent civilian into the spiral zone? According to this, a man named uh, Malone... Innocent civilian? You must be out of your mind. Please, Max. You will come to order. You are not helping, Max. Sit down, Lieutenant, at once. I'm sorry, sir. Uh, we uh, apologize for the interruption, Mr. Chairman. But your innocent civilian Malone used his control of the railroads to help Overlord move people from one zone to another. Lieutenant Jones' family was among the thousands of people that Malone sent into new zones. Later, Malone himself became a victim of the system he created. Can't you drive any faster? There's somebody following us, boss.
the UN troops will stop the train like they did the last one. But we'll tell him to let this train through. It's taking him into the zone. Now, I may have exceeded my authority in doing nothing to stop the train, but I stand by the justice of my decision. If the committee thinks I should lose my command because of what I did, I have no choice but to accept their decision. Well, they've been in there a long time. Dirk, I just want you to know that whatever happens... I'm sorry, Commander. It looks like you're stuck with us. Congratulations, Dirk. The committee voted in your favor. Oh, thank you, General. Congratulations! Congratulations. We knew you could do it. Ah, way to go, sir. Mm. The vote was six to one. We'll be right back with more Spiral Zone action. And now we return with more Spiral Zone adventure. Zone! 